Path is ground, Aztec 2441 My currently in the grass uh, near the FBO, looking for a VFR departure to the south uh, with the weather. Over 2441 Mike, runway 27, taxi via Alpha, cross runway 20, wind calm out, similar 3013. Runway uh, 27 via Alpha, cross runway 2041 Mike. Uniform Alpha, uh, type is a PA-27, altitude 9,504 on board. Aztec 41 Mike, squawk 1134. 1134, 41 Mike. Aztec 41 Mike, radar contact 10 miles, I'm sorry, 8 miles south of Athens, the altimeter is 3013. 3013, 41 Mike. All right, welcome back. We are returning from... North Georgia. Uh, we made the big G over Athens, which is uh, my favorite thing to do anytime I'm over in SEC school. It just happened to be Athens this time, so always good to return home. Uh, Georgia played Kentucky and remains undefeated and uh, number one in the country. Go dogs! Go dogs! We had planned on flying up to Cherokee County for, uh, for a quick drive up to LJ for the North Georgia Apple Festival, and we were going to do some apple picking. Uh, hay rides, the usual, you know, North Georgia Festival kind of stuff. On Saturday, a front was coming through, ceilings were low, winds were high and gusty, and it wasn't very far away from Athens, so we ultimately elected just to uh, to borrow a car, and uh, we drove. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, thanks uh, Mom and Dad. <laughs> it's actually Kelly's Mom and Dad, but uh, they had a spare car laying around up in Athens, so we were able to use it for the uh, an hour and a half long drive up to the Apple Festival. Unfortunately, by the time we got there, the there apple trees had been picked clean. There were no apples. There were no <laughs> apples, but... Uh, but we went into their big farmer's market yeah. barn thing. Yep. Except rotten apples. There were a couple were rotten, apples, rotten on apples on the tree. On the tree. But we didn't, we didn't want to pick those. But uh, the festival was nice, and we got some apple pies. We got some fried pies. Oh, we got some yeah. cake rolls. Jelly. We got so some fancy jellies. Uh, we also got cider. Got some cider. We got a couple bags of uh, freshly picked and grown apples. I mean, that's the whole, not the whole reason we went on this trip. This trip was to see family. It was to see family. And that was the activity we were going to do, so. I wanted to pick some apples. We did, but. Well, anyway, the whole family we, drove up. We picked them out of the bin. not pick apples. We picked them out of the bin. No, but they were good apples. I've never heard of Arkansas Black. I love Arkansas Black. That was a new apple, and it was really good. I feel like really crunchy, tart apples that are good for making pies out of, uh, Arkansas five, Black. Six, and the we also got some pink ladies, we'll kind of mid-October, late October, the season for the Arkansas Black and pink ladies, so uh, well, I knew that was what was in season, so we were up there to get those, and uh, we got a couple bags there in the back of the plane. <laughs> So anyway, we've got the route over here. So we left out of Athens. We're flying south. Uh, it is, we're going through a waypoint of Baxley, which is where her parents live. We're just going to fly right over the top of it. That actually keeps us outside of the military operation areas on the way down. 
Uh, if you want to see what that Delta looks like on the map, Delta it's India. these uh, boxy, magenta-colored, um, almost comb-edged sh uh, shapes here on the map. There's two of them. We've got the Bulldog MOA up above, and then we have the Coastal MOA, or Military Operation Areas, uh, a little bit lower on down above uh, Jacksonville. Once we get to Jacksonville, we have another restricted zone. That's where they, uh, they launch the... Uh, the uh, rockets from um, right there adjacent to Daytona Beach. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go through Baxley and then hop onto what's called Victor 3 Air Airway by Jacksonville. And then we're going to carry on Victor 3 all the way down back into Stewart, land, and, uh, and get the plane back in the hangar. And we've uh, only got an hour and a half left. Yeah, we've yeah, we have. Good wins. We're going on our usual true air speed, which is uh, generally around 170, 165 to 170 is what we typically set the plane up for. Uh, but we've got a 31 knot tailwind behind us right now, so we're cruising along 194, 105, 95 knots. Uh, so this is going to be a much quicker flight home than it was on the way up here, just because the winds want to help us. And a banana, two, three, uh, but zero, anyway, so that's zero, that. We're at cruise 9,500. Um, everything's set up, everything's working like it's supposed to, and we're just going to continue on with the trip and make our way back home. Yep. We'll talk to you again soon. Contact approach Go Dogs. Three, two, Go Dogs. November 2441, Mike, contact Jacksonville Center at 127.57. 127.5741, Mike. Jack Center, Aztec 2441, Mike, 9,500. November 2441, Mike, Jacksonville Center, welcome. The Alma Center is 3010. 3010, Mike. Davis Taffy, too. I want the taffy. What flavor? I don't know what they are. I don't know. Christmas? Well, those aren't flavors. Banana. All right, we got somebody coming in our range. 500 away. Coming on the left side. It looks like he's turning. You I'm go going to call this flavor Christmas. Take what you want and stuff the rest in my mouth. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what that flavor is. I think it's cherry watermelon. Mr. Papa Charlie, I need you at an odd altitude. Christmas. Uh, go to the northeast. Do you want to go over? Maybe. Should be right there. Cool. Do you see him? Charlie. Might be cherry lime. Mr. Papa Charlie, climb my team. Level two, three, zero. He disappeared. Yep. Why do they disappear like that? I don't know. Oh, playing next to us now. Oh, he's back. So just peeking ahead at the uh, weather, see on the screen record here, we've got uh, Stewart right in the center of the map, and as is typical in South Florida, we're starting to get a little bit of precipitation and some cloud buildups uh, right in the bottom half of the state where we live, so we'll keep an eye on these, see if it poses any issues getting back into town. Uh, right now, it does not look like it's going to be an issue, but a couple hours of uh, afternoon heating down there, and it may become something more substantial. We'll see what happens. We're flying over Baxley, guys. Hey. Grand Poppy's house is here. Hey, Grand Poppy's house. The Hello. airport's right out on that side. I don't see it, but I never see it. It's going to be so directly like right this way right there. now, and then it's going to be right behind us in about 15 seconds. Our 41 Mike, are you, what's your flight, VFR flight plan route to Stewart today, you direct? Yeah, we're going to go to uh, Ormond, join Victor 3, and then continue Victor 3 down to Stewart. 41 Mike. Maintain VFR, I'll see you Maintain VFR, 41 Mike. You can see the coast. Yeah, the coast is Echo is at Alpha 54 Mike. miles away. Visiting Simons, Brunswick. Yeah. Echo, right. So we could be out there to the coast in about 7, 20 6, minutes. 6, 6, September 3008824 Echo. It'll be a two hour drive for Baxley. It never took me two hours to get to St. Simons. How long did it take you? I thought it was two hours. I would say hours. an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes. Oh, but okay. then maybe well. I'd just drive fast. No, you don't. <laughs> I, I guarantee you don't. Don't think so. Unless you're rolling down a bridge, and then you like to get pulled over. Number 41, Mike, contact. Jack's approach, 127.0, good day. 127.0, good day. Jack's approach, Aztec 2441, Mike, at 9,500. November 2441, Mike, Jack's approach, Jack's approach, 3005. 3005, 41, Mike. All right, we're just getting into Florida. We're about to cross right over the top of Jacksonville. I've got it recording on the little screen so you guys can see the, the airspace around Jacksonville. Uh, there's two circles there. The first circle, the inner circle, is from the surface to 4,000 feet. 
and the outer ring, it's like an inverted wedding cake, uh, is from 1,200 feet to 4,000 feet. Um, as long as you're either above or below the rings, then you are outside the airspace. I take four on Mike Jack. Four Mike. One Mike, contact approach 124.9er. 124.9er, four one Mike. Jack's approach, Aztec 2441 Mike at 9500. There are 2441 Mike, Jack's approach, Jack's altimeter 3004. 3004, 41 Mike. So the big airport ahead of us is Jacksonville. Yeah, I can see the city. Yep. To the right over there. Uh, anyway, um, what I was saying is we're going right over the top of Jacksonville, and as long as you are above the top of the airspace or below the rings, then you're outside of the airspace for that uh, that particular airport. So in this case, we're at 9,500 feet, so we're well above the 4,000-foot ceiling for Jacksonville, so we're going right over the top of the airport. If you're curious how we're able to fly over the top of a commercial airport, that's because the airspace has a ceiling. And you're well above the ceiling, you can uh, you can go right over the top. So as we get back to Florida, we're typically welcomed by clouds. And so it was perfectly clear throughout Georgia. And right as we cross the border, it seems like right, right just below Jacksonville, we always start to get the puffy clouds. And uh, so here we see some cumulus clouds. They look to be at about... Uh, probably 3,000, 4,000 feet, roughly. Um, so we're still well above these clouds. We're going to continue right over the top of them, and uh, they're supposed to be scattered as we get down closer to Stewart, which is where we also saw a little bit of precipitation on our map. We're just going to wait and see what we get when we get there. But uh, as always, getting back to Florida, a little bit of puffy, happy clouds. I like clouds, so I'm fine with it. Me too. Aztec 2441, Mike. Contact Daytona Approach 118.85. Good day. 118.85 for one mic, thanks. Daytona approach, Aztec 2441 mic at 9500. 441 mic, Daytona, roger. This is some busy airspace. Airplanes all over the place. Yep. Yeah. Oh, is there something going on in Daytona that may have brought more people to the air? I don't know. Yeah, nice Delta 1592, thank you. It's a vector for the air show, that's just your north. Okay. Did I just say an air show? I don't know which one it is. That would be cool to see planes flying. <laughs> I wonder if it's the thing going on at Daytona. Maybe. Planner approach Aztec 2441 Mike would like to uh, descend below a uh, broken layer about to start. Um, target 4500. 41 Mike. 41 Mike approved. 41 Mike VFR descent approved. Orlando approach Aztec 2441 Mike. We're going to continue a VFR descent uh, to 3500 for clouds. One mic, Roger. Okay, November 41 Mike, contact Palm Beach Approach, 123.62. 123.62 for one mic. Palm Beach Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike at 2500. Aztec 2441 Mike, Palm Beach Approach, Palm Beach Hall, somebody at 2994. 2994 for one mic. And for one mic for Scott having operations about Sebastian Airport, just remain west of uh, I 95. West of I 95 for one mic. Aztec 4-1 Mike, Palm Beach, you can resume your own navigation. The uh, skydiving operation is no factor. Resume your own navigation, 4-1 Mike. My autopilot's not working. I knew, but I didn't want to talk. Palm Beach approach, Aztec 2441 Mike with Stewart in sight. November 2441 Mike, Palm Beach, Roger, radar services terminated to keep that squad contact. Stewart Tower 126.6. 126.6, 4-1 Mike. Stewart Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike, uh, one zero miles to the north northwest at 2500 inbound for full stop with information Sierra. Aztec 2441 Mike, Stewart Tower, report right downwind, runway 30. Right downwind, runway 30 forward Mike. All right, so we're inbound for landing and we have lost our autopilot. So there's something wrong. We're gonna. Just, we've been hand flying here for about 30 minutes and I'm going to hand fly it in all the way. I usually hand fly on the approach, but just to give you an update as to what's going on, it's just been a little bit more exciting than I would have, you know, ideally seen. But uh, we're about 
seven miles out to the airport, and we'll be on the ground soon, and then we'll get to work figuring out what's going on with my autopilot. Pretty bumpy and gusty today. Back in Florida for sure. Help. It's going to make me work every minute. That is. Tower Aztec 2441 Mike, established on right downwind runway 30, midfield, forward Mike. Aztec 41 Mike, roger the wind 360 at Niner, runway 30, clear to land. Runway 30, clear to land, forward Mike. Dive coming in, really, really cross and gusty. would not say that was excellent, but... We safely got all the ground. And unpleasant there at the end. Haha, <laughs> bouncy. Yeah, yeah, we, uh... Mike, where are you parking today? We're going back to the Stewart Jet Center. I'll exit at Alpha 2. Hashtag 4 and Mike Roger. Taxi to Jet Center, just monitor ground on the way there, just in case. Taxi to Jet Center, monitor ground, 4 and Mike. Daddy's autopilot went out, so he had to fly for the last little bit. And oh. then it was really windy there at the end, but he did a really good job, didn't he? Yeah. There was way more crosswind than there was We were supposed to be. We were sideways. <laughs> yeah, we were sideways. Well, that was a fun weekend, though. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Another nice one. Yeah, look at that flag. Look how straight out that is. Everyone say bye to the camera. Bye. Bye.